You want much better graphics in Star Citizen, night vision functions and more? Then welcome to the guide for Reshade. In this guide, we show you step by step how to install Reshade, adjust and activate different presets. And with that, you can already improve the stylish optics in Star Citizen and adjust to your needs. And in addition, the use of Reshade is completely free and can be used on the most systems without any problems. But there are also some controversial areas, such as the night vision mode. Is this cheating? We can definitely give the all clear here. The use of Reshade is supported by CIG in Star Citizen. And with 3.17.2, there was even an update from CIG to make Reshade runnable again. In addition, it is whitelisted in Easy Anti-Cheat. But of course, there are still controversial discussions in this context, which we will address later. Reshade can be downloaded directly from the manufacturer for free at reshade.me and of course you can leave a small donation here. When installing, you will notice that Star Citizen will not be recognized automatically at the menu. Here you have to search for your installation directory via browse and then select the X file under bin64 in your Star Citizen directory. And here at this point in note, this applies to every installation of Star Citizen, so for the live version, a tech preview or the PTU separately. As the rendering API, you currently select DirectX 10, 11 and 12. This can be changed later with the complete implementation of Vulkan. And for the effects installation, we recommend that you mark all areas, as we access different areas with some different presets. So here you need everything possible. And after a few seconds of download, all areas are downloaded and reshade is ready to go. We come now to the installation of different presets. For this we go back to your Star Citizen directory on the bin64 and here we also find the reshade folder. However, we do not change everything in this folder, also not in the textures folder. Because we are creating a new folder, namely presets. But you can name it as you like. The only important thing is that this was created on the bin64 in your Star Citizen directory and in this folder you simply copy the presets which you can download for free from our Discord server on the downloads. Alternatively, you can also insert other presets, whether as an ini file or as a text file, directly into your preset folder. If we start Star Citizen normally, it will appear when loading after the easy anti-cheat check that Reshade is also implemented and active. And at the first start, we also have a small welcome line at the top left. And to open Reshade, press the position 1 or home key on your keyboard. And here we get the fairly small configuration window, which at first looks a bit confusing, but step by step. Reshade is available in different languages and is automatically installed with your standard system language. In our case it was German. If you want to change the language, you can simply do this via the settings and select the corresponding language here on the language. The scope of functions remain the same of course. Another feature of Reshade is the display of a small clock, a FPS display and your frame times. And you can find these displays completely configurable at the top right of your screen if you activate the various options. For us, the FPS display is particularly interesting, since it can be found at the top of the corner, which is small and spacious, and does not display additional data, like the Star Citizen configuration window. And via the configuration options, you can make the font bigger, change the color or change the font itself. In the game, we can now activate or deactivate Reshade by pressing the position 1 or home key on your keyboard, or by calling up the menu. Because Reshade is always active in the background, even if you do not make any changes to your shaders. And in addition, you have the option of making high quality screenshots directly via Reshade. Here the print button is assigned in the standard and you can also assign different keys and paths via the settings. We also strongly recommend that you assign different standard keys, activate and deactivate Reshade shaders, as well as switch through the different presets. This way, you do not have to open the menu and can simply switch through. Because with the hotkeys, we can simply activate and deactivate the various presets in-game. And we can simply switch through your pre-saved presets automatically. 
Reshade automatically recognizes the directory, whereby we can also assign other directories via the settings in the options menu. So the save presets. And it also offers unlimited possibilities in all options and variations. And here you can do a lot more than in all other graphic settings. For example, we have the option of simulating HDR functionality, even if you do not have an HDR capable monitor. But you can also realize outstanding options such as a comic look, a black and white look and more via reshade. And for this we have provided you with a link to an extensive collection of the various options in the video description. For fine tuning it is recommended to switch through the different presets with the open menu and corresponding scene. Here you can then adjust this scene to your needs and thus create your own dream look for Star Citizen. And the differences become visible clearly and quickly. But the look is of course a matter of taste and you can still simply change and adjust the presets yourself. Critical to see and often a point of discussion are possibilities to generate a playful advantage via reshade. For example, with a kind of night vision functionality. Because this can offer a real playful advantage if we can still see something in absolute darkness, in contrast to other players who may not use reshade. Therefore, reshade is usually omitted in competitive modes or tournaments, but not from CIG or not from easy anti-cheat. Therefore, Reshade is still usable without you having to run the risk of getting banned or getting in trouble. There have already been several statements on this. Of course, most of all virtual photographers, content creators or anyone who wants to get a little more optics out of Star Citizen or want to have their own look benefit from Reshade. In the medium and long term, it should be taken into account that the support of Reshade is mainly omitted or limited in competitive modes and tournaments. With the different tools, you have a lot more influence options than just a stronger, cooler rendering, a little more bloom or much shaper images. Also different color filters and other options offer you the option of becoming artistic. But different settings can also affect your performance. Here, depending on the hardware you use and the pre-settings, you can have less FPS in the game. Basically, however, these inputs are clearly limited and are only marginally perceptible. And after the discussions about the night vision functionality of Reshade keeps popping up, here are some comparisons. Because in contrast to older Star Citizen versions, the effects of a graphic conversion, so the night vision setting, are not longer so significant. Of course, there is still a slight gaming advantage or a better overview, but not so extreme as before. And with the further development of the graphics engine, the differences will probably be even less pronounced. For us, Reshade offers the option of adapting the optics accordingly to achieve a deeper and more plastic image. And in addition, it offers a HDR functionality, even if it's not native, but it's only imitated a clear plus to immersion and credibility of the game world. And thanks to the extensive adjustments and settings options, you have the choice of how you want to design your own image for yourself. And above all, players with impairments, so with changed color perceptions, can clearly benefit from this. Because there are also different presets for this, which can compensate for, so, a red and green weakness. Or specialized presets for industrial gameplay, which can help miners or salvages after the readability of the displays, especially in bright or dark environments, can be significantly adjusted. But what is your opinion on Reshade? A useful additional tool or the way to cheat in the game? Let me know in the video comments, in the Discord or in our daily Twitch livestreams. You can of course also find the free presets in the download section in our Discord. You see the channel after the first registration. And finally, the note again, with a version update or a new version of Star Citizen or a PTU version, you have to reinstall Reshade every time. But you can take over the existing presets one to one. See you soon and see you in the verse. Thanks for watching.